your earth suit, Sagittarius. Also, I'd like to look at what's on the bottom. What's on the bottom is the seven. It's the seven of wands. Wands are motion. Wands are fire. But it also feels like you're a little cornered in a situation, feeling like you have to make a decision that you are not ready to make or you don't want to make. So speak from your heart, Sagittarius. Um, and if it is not the right decision for you, I um, give you permission to step out of it for a minute, take a look at it, make the decision that is right for you. Don't succumb to the pressures of other people's um, urgency, shall we say. Uh, this may be in the workplace, this may be in the personal place, family home, family home, friends. Um, but it is a situation that you're feeling a little cornered in and that you have to make uh, a decision right away. So take the time you need to and collect the information you need to for that decision. Um, but usually when we're feeling cornered is when we really need to disengage and, and step out of that and make a decision just from your own energy and just from your own needs, wants, and desires. So that is what's on the bottom. Let us start at the beginning. This is the Four of Swords. This is something that's laying very heavy on your mind. It looks like it may be disturbing your sleep or you may be sleeping to, to um, get away from it. But it looks like other people's energy, other people's truths are just kind of hanging over your head. Things that need to be done. Where is this is feeling like this is really your energy, your issues, the things that you need to look at. So let these things go if they're not yours. Make a decision if you have to. There's one major thing here that is causing a lot of the over mental stimulation, shall we say, but it is causing problems in your sleep patterns and um, laying pretty heavy on your mind and feeling like there's a disaster hanging over your head. It doesn't look like it's the truth in um, your space right now that, that, is, that these disasters are being brought on by, by others' urgencies. Um, so now it's time to make your separations from these urgencies. Take a look at what really is yours, what you can resolve, what you can fix. Um, and let the other stuff go if it doesn't belong to you. Um, a lot of times people like to give us their problems to solve and then we own it and we feel like it is ours when it really isn't. So dear Sag, take a look at honestly what is yours and what is either your children's, your parents, your co-workers, your bosses, um, and make your separations from that. Do what you can and what is your responsibility and the rest leave it because it's really causing a lot of anguish in your space. Um, a lot of questioning of your own abilities, a lot of insecurity. So give it back to who it belongs to. It really is not yours to resolve. Um, and that will help your head space a little bit. Looks like um, this is lighting up for me too. It might have brought on headaches or um, overthinking tends to bring on headaches, possible eye issues. So relieve the stress and then take a good look at what really is going on instead of just the emotions around the situation. So and who, what is yours and what is someone else's? So what crosses you is your balance. Finding your own balance, and I think that's what we all try to strive for this lifetime. Really giving to yourself and others and how to maintain that balance. Looks like the juggle is getting a little heavy for you, whether it's juggling kids or aging parents or, or jobs or friends. But the juggle is getting a little bit to you. So look at things, find out what you can let go, reprioritize for your mental health. Um, the red wings are lighting up here and when I ask spirit what that is it feels like there's a lot of anger involved with doing things for others or resentment so um, it's time to lighten your load a little bit lighten your load Sagittarius um, and find your balance reprioritize 
um, for your own mental health, please. There's too much on your plate right now. And um, letting things go does not mean failure. It just means it doesn't work right now. You can also always put them on the bottom of the list. They don't have to disappear from, from your awareness or our awareness completely. But it looks like taking a mental health day, taking some time to rejuvenate your energy. Your energy is getting a little low here from giving, 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 Sag, or doing, doing, doing. I know you guys are the movers and the shakers, you little fire signs, you. And um, sometimes just sitting and resting and contemplating or meditating or finding activities that are a little less strenuous on your body. Um, is a good thing. We're moving into winter, we're, you know, from fall to winter soon. So go in your cave a little bit. Um, a lot of uh, the other signs have, you know, getting things done. That is not a problem with Sagittarius. You guys get things done. You get everything done. So I'm encouraging you to reprioritize and slow your roll a little bit. Find some from much needed me time and really nurture yourself a little bit more instead of all the things to do's to do's to do's to do's so and if that means putting on your to-do list being kind to yourself then put it on there and make it real so <laughs> what is above you is the eight eight of swords swords is an air sign and pretty much it feels like you're trapped in a situation, but the blindfold here is lighting up to pull that blindfold off, Sagittarius. Take a look at what the situation is, the real situation, not just what people have told you. Do a little investigating and look at what's right in front of your face. You This, this trapping, it feels like it's partially of your own design from your mind. Your mind is being really overstimulated. Uh, it's probably why there's a whole lot of motion in your space right now. But cast off those shackles. Really take a look at, at the situation as it honestly is, not as you wish it to be. And release yourself from some of the frustration so you can heal yourself. There is always more than one option presented. It may feel like there's only one direction, but there is always more than one choice to each situation. So take a look at all your other choices. Um, I feel like you're backed into the corner, um, but realize some of it is of your own doing. I'm sorry, Sagittarius, but pull that Pull that blindfold off and take a look at what's happening. It's in your awareness now. You know what you have to do. Um, find your courage. Make that first step. That first step into motion and changing the situation and the rest will follow. Alrighty, another blindfold, another protection. So there is definitely something that you're not wanting to either look at or you're looking at it and it's a little painful. Um, very protected. Looks like something that is happening either right now or just past. It's in the past position since I am reading this. In September, it's probably something that's happened to you right now. Feeling very defensive feeling very locked into something. As I said, there are always more than one road to each situation. So really take a look at what your other options are. Pull that blindfold off. Look at what's happening. It may not be something that you want to look at. And that is why it's easier to just defend yourself than to really look at it. But you're ready. You're capable, Sagittarius. You can move this energy. Um, you are a mover and a shaker, so don't be afraid to step into the light. Take a look at the ugly and then move it out. Move it out. The new beginnings, exalted. This is the six, so you're right in the middle of this. Six is kind of like just a little bit past what's going on. You're a little bit hesitant to start some new things or to change directions. New and change is always scary, but it's there. It's there, and the road to change, it can be very, very scary, but it looks like good things, really good things, exalted things, things of higher level, things that bring you joy. Um, 
the wreath is lighting up for me too. I'm not sure if it means making plans for Christmas, solstice, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate during the festivities and the holidays, but it looks like the holidays do not have to be as crazy as they normally are, <laughs> that you can take it slower and reprioritizing things in your life um, out of necessity and just out of finding your bliss will really help you get on track, leaving the things in the past that don't, don't serve you anymore um, or giving them to the people that it belongs to, but really recalculating recalibrating reprioritizing it's now it's time to like redo your bucket list things that you have created for yourself from the past things that have been your driving force in life needs to be looked at and to reevaluate it you are a different person than you were even a couple of months ago let alone a couple of years ago and it looks like a lot of your wishes dreams desires are based on things and situations and um, dynamics that were of the past so bring up your bucket list and bring it into present time uh, bring those priorities into present time a lot of the things that it's kind of chasing your tail around is things that are not in line anymore with your growth not in line with um, your bliss. So really take a look and reprioritize what is truly important to you. So <clears throat> that is present time. And it's also exalted, good things, positive. And when you make these changes, I know changes are really hard, but when you make these changes, your load will be lightened up a lot and the healing can begin. So right now there's a lot of frustration. It looks like um, being locked into situations. Um, that is not your truth. You are really not locked into that situation. You can move about the cabin freely as you choose. Um, so make some decisions that will better you, not just those that are around you. Okay, Sag, Knight of Cups. The cups is a water sign, and water signs are Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I just dropped all my cards. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is a knight, so it is someone um, young, under 30, under 40, um, or emotionally young. Uh, this feels like there is some positive growth here this could be a um i'm feeling like new friendship new lover um, reconnecting um but in present time but new situations this is um feeling more like a pisces than anything else um but a, a new connection with a pisces male um, one that is on their road and one that just have some bravery and they have some information for you. It looks like an exchange of information. It's just feeling more like work than, than love or actually this is feeling really much more like work. Either working together, getting a new work partner, um, gathering information, but this looks like uh, on the positive note. This is someone that's working well with you and not something that someone that's working against you so that is coming up it is also near temperance and death death does not necessarily mean the physical death of someone it usually means the ending of something um, can be the ending of a relationship um, can be the ending of a job friendship or something that you really have been having on your mind for a long time looks like your sleep patterns definitely uh, have been sorry have been interrupted uh, there's too much on your mind and sleep is being elusive to you um, or your sleep is not the dreams are more like nightmares as can depict more nightmare things than dreams it is next to the death card, so it is the ending of something. It also does have a medical sign here. So for some of you Sagittarius, this could 
definitely be a medical issue um, that you need to look at or the ending of a medical issue or a resolve of a medical issue but something is keeping you up at night dear Sagittarius so let that go let go what you can um, try to get some more information to really relieve your head hand off anything that really doesn't belong to you that you cannot resolve acceptance is a big part of finding your bliss um, you can't really change something if you don't accept it as it is it is also the nine uh, nine is close to completion tens are completion it is next to death so it is time to really honestly look at something and complete it complete it end it whether it's a toxic job relationship um, love relationship friend relationship uh, it does affect this, I, I believe it's a Pisces, can be a uh, Scorpio or Cancer as well, but there, it, it involves this person. So for those that this is resonating for, for work, there's something ending at the workspace. Also something resonating with you for uh, love space, something is ending. I don't feel it's a physical death. For a few of you, it may be not your own physical death, but someone around you or death uh, affects you. Um, but most of the time, this means a ending of something and a beginning of something else. The two here, finding balance. Balance is in here all over the place, Sagittarius. So it looks like you've been spinning a little bit, trying to resolve things. Uh, also could be around money. This is the kind of old broken alone fear card. Um, realize what is truth and what is fear. We can only resolve what is truth. Our fears can take things just to the nth degree and they may not even be based in reality. So make sure that you find your balance, you find your calm, Medically, if you need to do something medically, do what you can to make things better. Um, follow the instructions that you're supposed to. Please do not resist it. Uh, it is right next to the death card, so it makes me more aware that there is a physical ailment, a mental ailment, some kind of ailment going on. So do what you can. It is not necessarily a death sentence either. It, um, it means you really need to honestly look at what your part in this is and what other people's parts in it. So also along the line of that prioritizing. So find your balance, speak your truth, do medically what you need to do to resolve any situation. And it could be just changing your diet or walking around the block, but adding some effort to your own resolve will help a lot to clear it out a lot quicker. The page of Pentacles here, page is messages, Pentacles is earth signs, pages usually are someone younger than 20, can be a male or a female, so there is a focus here. It is also near this medical, so the medical issue or uh, the Unresolved may be with a child or a young person. Uh, it can be messages, but it is an uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but they are the main focus of, of all this. So I don't know if they are being enlisted to help or if they need some help. But uh, it looks like healing and truth is in the air. Um, it has looks like part of you is feeling very sad about this it brings up your fears about uh, life that you will be old broke and alone looks like for some of you it's the ending of a relationship usually the old broken alone stuff comes up um, with an end of, of a relationship so for many sages it may be um, just the ending of a relationship or the sadness around changing one uh, the High Priestess. This is also an Exalted card. It's a Major Arcana card. And this is getting in touch with the God of your heart. Praying. Connecting with the other 
side, you know, access your source. Uh, we are spirit in a body. We are not just these bodies. We are spirit in a body. And really finding that connection to the God of your heart and the truth inside of you can only better the situation. A lot of times we wait till the last minute to pray to God. <laughs> even, even the atheist folks seem to find God or some God resemblance um, when you're in a crisis. So utilize that high priestess. Utilize the magic that's in your heart. The Torah is right, uh, lighting up for me this right here. So ancient wisdom. Ancient wisdom. Collect some of your ancient wisdom and put it into play. Put it into use. It's just not an external thing. We can incorporate it into our lives and um, have spirit with you every day. Or walk in, in the park every day. Whatever the God of your heart is. If it's nature, if it is a supreme being, if you call it God, goddess, whatever. Um, but getting really getting back in line and in touch with your purpose on this planet will bring clarity for you and calm some of of the woes. It looks like there's some things coming up that's laying heavy on your mind, Sagittarius. So I know you're usually pretty lighthearted and you take on a lot of things and a lot of movement, but it's time to do a little contemplation. It's time to reprioritize things and get back to your source. Get back to your source, Sagittarius. All is not lost. So that is your main reading. I'm going to throw some, uh, these cards are chakra cards. Ooh, enlightenment, gee. And prayer, well, I don't even really need to talk about that too much. <laughs> it's time for you to have some faith. Faith in yourself, faith in others, faith in the journey. Uh, realize everything happens for a reason, even when we lose someone that's very, very important into our life. We have lost their body, but not their energy, not their love, and not the journey. So get back on to that journey to uh, of enlightenment, Sagittarius. Ask those important questions. Bring things up into present time for you. Know um, a lot of the things that you are going on is kind of outdated outdated behaviors outdated issues so release the things from the past that no longer serve you find your spiritual center however that looks for you you know a lot of people who don't have the connection with god are great hikers and hug a tree or just scream into the wind whatever your prayer is whatever your enlightenment is however it is presented to you i encourage you to connect with that and to release the things that don't serve you so you can really be present for the people who need you and for your for the new adventures that are coming to you um, you will be released from some of this pain from the past so think about what you want to put in in there instead what you want to manifest, what's your highest creative wishes for this lifetime, and put it out there.